Do you have an outlet that's broke, cords fall out of, or just gross? Most of my houses that I work on are really old and have really short wires to work with. I was installing a GFC outlet that's designed to be back wired and it saved me a ton of time and headache. And I thought, how terrific was that? No more J hooks. So I researched and found that if you upgrade to a commercial outlet, it too offers the back wiring capabilities. Now, what is a back wire? Back wires are not to be confused with backstabbing. The wire has so much more surface area that makes contact. Plus you screw it tight rather than relying on a spring mechanism. To change your outlet, you're gonna to have to know which breaker it is. You can use a non-contact voltage tester if you'd like, but it's best to use something plugged in. If you're by yourself, you can use an alarm clock to know when you get the right breaker. Take off the outlet cover and then the top and bottom outlet screw and then pull out your outlet. Before you remove these screws, make sure that the wires don't get mixed up. So I always take off the top and put it up here and then take off the bottom and put it down here and same with the blacks. Here's a pro tip for you. These wires are really hard to get out. They're very snug. So go ahead and just keep unscrewing this screw and take the screws out. Another pro tip, take out your bit and use a power tool. Take off your ground. Now the other side. So because we're using the back wire method, we need to just straighten out our J hooks and make sure they're the right length. If you need a refresher on how to wire an outlet, I have a video on that in the description below. This strip gauge is right here, so it needs to be the width of the black. So that's a perfect length right there. Another tip for you is to start with the ground. And it's best to use a screwdriver so you can feel how tight you're getting your connections. As you can see, it's as easy as pushing it in until it bottoms out and then clamping it down. As you screw this in, the plate presses against the wire, making a good connection and a safe connection. Then you curl them down. Now put your outlet back on, and when you screw it on, make sure it's straight up and down. That's one of my pet peeves. Now turn your power back on, and that's it. Now go out and build your skills and your confidence, and I'll see you in the next video.